Hello, friends and neighbors. Swagman Piper 1926 here. Drinking some coffee. Smoking my uh, Peterson Dublin Edition, non filtered. Shape uh, 69. And then uh, is some uh, no dark fire. That doesn't want to stay lit. So, everybody already knows about that, and your, your, your messages and kindness will not, has not and will not be forgotten. funeral is Wednesday so remember us then my brother older brother taking it hard but as As sons do, they tend to clash with their fathers. So, you know, he was. They weren't on the worst of terms, but they weren't on the best of terms. But I will say that before Dad left this world, my brother was able to go and talk to him. which meant a lot. So with this Mirth Monday, and a beautiful day that it is, I'd like to tell you a story of uh, Uh, well, me and my, my dad and my brother, my older brother, there's, all together, there's four boys. I have an older brother who's five years older than I am, then there's me, then my next closest one is uh, 18 years difference. And then I've got another one. That would be twenty-five, almost twenty-five years difference. So, just in case you're curious, that puts my youngest brother. He'll be. He turns eleven tomorrow. But, when I was about 10 or 11, we went fishing, and that was always a big deal, because Dad was, that was one of his Dad's things that he loved to do. In his time, if he could, he would either pick and play music, or go fishing 
or be in the garden in the in the summertime. So But we were fishing, we were out of the little area called the strip mines. And uh down there at one of the lakes. And dad he he loved to to bass fish. So he was there working the bait. And me and my brother were there not with the patience to bash the fish. So we had just regular hook and uh, a worm and a bomber. Which to be said, I believe I outfished my older brother that day too, so let us not forget that. <laughs> but, um, He caught him a fish, bluegill, hmm, about average size for this area, nothing, nothing ginormous, but, well, maybe about the, here to there, we don't, we don't get them very big uh, up here. <coughs> Or the, the ones that do get big, get caught, and get filleted Nate. But I said, I'll take the fish off. Well, at about 10 or 11 years old, whatever I was, wearing your hat backwards, you know, like this, that was the thing to do. And then, you know, you had that gap here. And then the strap would come across. I unhooked the fish and it wiggled and kind of jumped and it slipped out of my hands. Well, I bent down to get it because we were putting them on a on a line because <clears throat> we were going to flay them because we caught so many. When I bent down to get it, that hook caught my hat like this. And I am bending down trying to get this fish and my brother's pole is dipping real bad. And my dad is watching this comedy take place. And you hear just a start chuckle of laughing. And then you hear him laughing so hard he can't hardly breathe. Which I finally took my hat off and got the fish but it was well after that that he stopped laughing and said he missed the fish from laughing so hard at me and Jeffrey because Jeffrey's holding on to the pole instead of just setting it down and he said he missed at least eight fish maybe two From laughing so hard. My dad loved to laugh. And you you've heard some of his jokes. So you know he was he could pick some interesting jokes. I thank you all for your words, prayers. God bless you all. Y'all take care. Have a good Monday. And remember, it cost us nothing to be kind.